Hello everyone and welcome back to Keanu Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B-Team. Now, since last episode, I've done a few things. I've um, organised most of my stuff into chests. As you can see, we've got an ingots chest over here where I've got most of my ingots and my blocks of gold, which I think I'm going to change back into the ingots. Just why not? Just to keep things simple. Because uh, you'll see why in a minute, actually, when we set up the um, the like sorting system thing. I think I've put my things away, my item ducts somewhere. I'm not too sure. And then I've got sort of precious stuff over here, which is like diamonds, redstone, coal, lapis, and then some gems and quantum dust, I think it is. Yeah, quantum dust. This chest has not been assigned yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. And then this chest is just sort of like other random blocks, I guess, um, that I didn't know where else to put. So they're just there for now. I think I'll probably change this chest in the future as well to something else, but it'll do for now. Uh, you probably also noticed that the faucet of this thing is gone, and the timer that we set up yesterday has also gone. And that is because a bunch of you guys uh, left in the comment section down below a much better way of doing this, and that is using fluid ducts and a lever next to the um, next to the faucet. Now I'm not going to use a lever. I'm going to use something else called uh, a pneumatic server. Now if you have a quick look at this, it's just it's not hard to make. It's just iron, redstone, and glass. And what we can do with this is if we put the um, fluid duct up here, like this, you just shift click on the faucet, or where the faucet should be even, and the fluid duct will go on. And then if you use your crescent hammer to right click on this little bit here, you can see, I think you'll probably be able to see, I think, um, maybe not on YouTube, I don't know, but there's like little black borders surrounding the items. There's like three parts of this thing. Um, there's this bit, there's this bit, and there's this bit. And then if you like right click on this one, the one that's near where the, um, the drain is, if you right click, it'll change to an output. And then if you right click with the pneumatic server, it'll say the pneumatic server has been installed. And now if you just right click it in general with your hand, you'll be able to access all this stuff. Whereas say if I try it on this one over here, it might not work. Okay, it's working, it's fine. But if I did it without a, um, a server on there, you wouldn't be able to access this stuff. And basically all you gotta do then is change this to redstone control ignored. That way it doesn't need a lever. And now you'll see, I'll just pull out the glass, the liquid glass anyway. I'll put some in here just to test it out. And it pulls it out, empties it into the chest and then pulls it out again straight away. Go straight from here into the hopper into the chest and then does it again. So there we go. That's a really a lot faster than we were doing it before as well. So now if we actually go quickly have a look over here. Do we have a load of stuff left in here? Of course we do. If we say grab, is this stuff working? It's not, but we'll get to this in a second. If we say grab a bunch of this copper and throw a bunch of this copper into here like this. It should smell up and then automatically just pull itself out into this chest and then we'll just have a bunch of copper blocks which is pretty cool okay so what i want to do this episode and it actually looks like this is dying are we out of coal we are okay let's grab some more of that real quick and i do want to get onto that power situation pretty soon we'll probably get onto that um somewhere near the end of the episode and maybe into next episode but um, we'll get back to this what i want to do this episode is um set out this problem we're having over here where the um items are getting here the ingots are finished then other stuff's coming in and not being able to get smelted and um, kind of set up a tight like a, a basic sorting system to begin with so we made these item ducts at the end of last episode and um, what we're going to do with these is sort of just for now just set up a basic little system so that when the items are finished smelting they'll uh, come out of the bottom of here and end up over in this chest now to do this we're going to need a these item ducts and be a few more pneumatic servers um, in order to access them in pretty much the same way we did with the fluid duct over there So if we just do this Like so and then line up these you'll see um, automatically on this one It goes to blue and if we try right click on it It says pneumatic server must be installed for control So once we do that we'll be able to um, see it like we could over there now We're not going to need a pneumatic server on that one because that one's just going to take items in But we are going to need one on this one over here because we want this to be an output Actually, I don't know if we do need a pneumatic server. Can we just let me find out. We might not need one. If I change the bottom, which I think is this, to an output. Let's have a look. Have I done that right? I might have done it. I might not. No, it's not. Okay, is this one? Okay, that's one. Uh, did that... Do we have 44? Okay, that works. Okay. Um, so, because these things just push them out automatically, like, um, this thing automatically pushes stuff out at the... Um, at these sides where it's orange, so you don't actually need to make it uh, a redstone thing. If we said, say, had like um, a dump chest, which we're going to have eventually, I think I'll make one of these guys appear into a chest that we just throw our stuff in and then it gets sorted. And um, if we want one of those, we would have to put a pneumatic servo in and then um, change the redstone to ignore so that this thing just pulls it out automatically. But uh, it turns out we don't need to do that. So, what we're going to do now is cover this up. And if you notice, we've got a really like ugly looking pipe here and we don't want this. Now, we could have moved it down one, but that would use more pipes. What we're going to do is use some um, something from 
I think it's it's forged micro blocks, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna need a diamond and some sticks. I think it is to make ourselves a saw, something like this. I think uh, with a diamond there. We're going for a diamond saw. We're going all out for the best tier saw. Uh, but I think I've done that wrong. I think you need some sort of um, cobblestone sticks as well. Let me just see if I can do this real quick. Uh, I think two cobblestone gets us some sort of cobblestone sticks. It does. Stone tool things of some kind. Uh, actually, I'm just going to look this up because I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. Um, so I've been saw and you get all these saws from Project uh, from uh, Forge Microblocks. And then, oh, we're so close. Look at this. We need some of these guys, which is two smooth stone or two cobblestone. Apparently works as well. So I think we're going to need to do this one more time with two more of these guys, like this. And then we should be good to go. Let's see. There we go. We've got a saw. And now if we put our saw above uh, the oak planks, we can make some of these guys. We don't want to make too many. And then if we put them in again, we get panels. And if we do them one more time, we get covers. Now, you see how I didn't want to do too many because we've got 24 already, which I think is probably going to be more than enough. Uh, okay, so this has got blocked up for some reason. Why is this? What's up with this? Okay, so apparently it's working now. As you can see, we've got 58, 59. Iron ingots are coming in nice and steadily. And now in comes what looks like tin. Um, so all I've changed is I've added a chest under here. So now the stuff gets uh, output straight into this chest at the bottom. And then using the server, I've just got this to um, register signal low. So now it's just pulling stuff out of the chest and along to the other chest. Not sure why that wasn't working, but there you go. It's working now. We can have our stuff sent straight over to our chest. And now if we go back to these covers, what we can do is we can just cover this stuff up like this. Which is pretty nice. You can use them to block these off. Like if I put one there, it would separate the pipes so they wouldn't connect. Which is quite useful if you actually do want to block um, some of your item ducts from touching other ones. But we don't want to do that because we want this to work fine. Now in the past I have done this by accident and then wondered why stuff doesn't work. So I do have to watch out. But this should be just fine like that. There we go. Okay. And now you can also see this kind of like um, you can see the pipe under there. Now, you can see then I can put this here like this, but that will like stop it going through. They won't connect anymore. It won't connect to the chest. Stuff won't come in. Um, is this still working? Yeah, it is. We're getting silver. Good stuff, good stuff. So if I just quickly make like one set more like this, then what I can do is make these things here called um, hollow oak um, covers, and I can just sort of slide one of these under here like if I can get this right like that and now it looks oh wow I've done that wrong haven't I, I should have done that with uh, stone I should have done that with cobble with smooth stone uh, do we have a piece of smooth stone we do so let's do that real quick and um, basically what you can do is you can um, have the pipes going through stone but it just it, it just looks better it just looks a little bit nicer so here we go I'll make a bunch of hollow covers like this uh, these are probably going to come in useful at some point anyway did I not go did I go far enough I think I did. Covers are the right ones, aren't they? Yeah, covers. Like that. There we go. So now we should still be getting stuff coming into the chest. I'm not sure what should be smelting up right now. Can't see anything going in. Let's go check stuff's been done. <laughs> uh, we're getting... We should be getting silver. Let's have a look. Are we still getting silver? Hmm. Let's have a look at this and see if it's been blocked up. I'm wondering if... See, it's blocked up again. Now, I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the fact that if we have, um, like, spare slots, like, if I take out some silver, is it going to start filling it up? Because it looks like that's what it was doing before. It was filling up when we had silver. So, it's sending stuff out. So, it should be getting, we should be getting silver into this thing. But we're not. Let's break one of these as well, just so we can see. Uh, something happening? No? Okay, I can't see anything coming along here. It's a bit annoying. You can see the connection is still being made, which is good. So we should still be getting stuff. Okay, these guys are coming along. Coming along. And they should go into this chest and add to the 32 that are already there. Okay, so it looks like they add if there's stuff there. But then if we fill that up, it looks like they're not willing to... It looks like they get sent back. Okay. So is there an option in here that changes that? Because that should not be happening at all. Let's have a look. Can we change that to... I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, no, I think that's going to change it to... Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to whitelist or blacklist anything. I don't... I'm... 
Hmm. I didn't think this was a thing. I thought it would just allow them in. I don't use the R dictionary. Stack size can be anything. What's this saying? Uh, the website control figure is just tab, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not sure why this isn't working, guys. I'm going to look into it between episodes, but we're going to move on for this episode because I've got other stuff that I want to be doing. So let's just fill these guys in. I'll try and figure that out before next episode. Hopefully I should uh, be able to figure out why that's not working. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to move on and get to... Um, I think I might actually just turn this off for, for the time being. Um, yeah, I'll just turn that off and let them all sit in this chest for a while. Uh, until I can fix that. But what I want to do is set up um, some Mine Factory Reloaded stuff outside because A, I want to get some wheat growing so that when we get some farm animals down we can start um, automatically farming them because I want to get some cows going so we can get some leather so that we can get some more of this necromancy stuff going. I also want to get um, a little bit of tree farming going so that we can get some more uh, so we can get some more wood and turn that into charcoal for our steam dynamo here which is constantly running out of coal and um, which is causing us power loss. And I also want to get going some other cool shizwiz as well. So, we need to start by making a, some Mind Factory Reloaded stuff called a planter and a harvester. Now, the planter, not too hard. We need uh, two plastic sheets, some pistons, some machine frames, some copper, redstone reception coil, and a flower pot. Now, plastic sheets are raw plastic, four of them, which is just rubber smelted, which is either a ball of glue or some raw rubber. A ball of glue is made... Oh, we could... Um, we could do that, use the sawmill, or we could use glue in the Tinker's Construct stuff, which is made from, oh, apparently if you use a fluid transposer and molten pig iron, what's pig iron made of? Well, that tells in, um, I mean, I'm looking at this, I'm probably never going to use the pig iron, but let's have a look in the Tinker's book, just in case. I'm going to put these in my inventory, just so that I stop trying to put them down. Uh, do, 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 where did I put the Tinker's book? The book. Uh, this is sort of my farming chest, by the way, and these two are just sort of like unsorted chests that have not had anything done to them. Um, am I blind or am I missing mighty smelting somewhere? Uh, probably just me being blind, but I can't see it. I can see the other two books. I think we could craft this one into mighty smelting. Yeah, let's just have a quick look here. Why not? Uh, pig iron is made from iron, blood, and emeralds. Oh gosh, that's expensive. Don't want to use emeralds. But uh, if you look outside, you can probably see that I've set up a little space here where I kind of want to do some of my farming. So I'm going to quickly go to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll start on that stuff. Oh yeah, and the other reason that I wanted to set up a little farm as well is because I'm always out of hunger. We don't have anything to feed us at the minute. Um, so actually, the reason I went upstairs is we got some raw rubber. I went out to the um, behind the village. It's like a big forest full of trees. I managed to find one mine factory loaded rubber tree out of all the trees that were there. So what you do to get the plastic sheet is simply just smelt up some of this uh, raw rubber from Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, you guys can wait. Are we almost done? Yeah, looks like we are as well. Cool. So you smelt this up. It probably ended up... Oh, it's ended up in the chest, doesn't it? Oh, that's a pain. It's a pain because we can't open the chest. Let me turn that off for a second. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun. Uh, okay, so we, you smelt these and then basically you just smelt them again and you get some raw plastic. Uh, while that's doing that, I think, I say while that's doing that, I have to move these again in a minute, so I'm just going to wait here for a second, grab that, we're going to waste a bit of power here by picking this thing up, just so that we can get these guys out like this, put this thing that we haven't picked up back down, make sure the bottom's not an output, it's not, smell these again, and that should be fine, okay. Yeah, that works. While it's doing that, let's grab some glass, some gold, and some iron, so we can make ourselves some machine frames. So let's just, uh, that's the wrong one, we need this one. Let's make, I don't know, five, we need them for other stuff as well, so we might as well do. We're going to need some reception coils, now I can't remember if this is the one we need or not. Do we need a reception coil? Yeah, okay, cool stuff. Do we need that for the harvester as well? Let's have a look, harvester. Happens we can spell harvester, right? Harvester, uh, yeah, we need one of them for them as well. We're also going to need two pairs of shears, like this. So let's grab some more redstone. Don't know where we're going to get redstone from, though. We're really running out of it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> no, we're never going to run out of redstone, I don't think. It's going to be something that we just always have. Um, we're also going to need that flower pot. So let's actually get some clay cooking up. Because I think them sheets will be, uh, the raw plastic will be done. Do we have some clear line about in here? I think we do somewhere. Yeah, look at that nine. Oh no, wait, we've got we've got bricks already. It's fine. We're fine. We can do this. All right, are these done? 
cool stuff. Now, as if we only had seven. That's just a pain, isn't it? It's an awful number. But I think four is enough for the two machines that we're doing at the minute. So that should be fine. We'll get ourselves a flower pot. We'll go back to the planter because that's what we were doing. Planter and pistons. Uh, redstone, iron, wood and other stuff. So we'll grab some wood, some cobblestone, some redstone and some iron. And we'll make ourselves some pistons. I think I might just... Oh, we can only make two. Really? What are we missing? Wood. Yeah, we're missing some wood. Okay. That's fine. Uh, do we have what it takes? We're going to need some copper. But then we should be good to go. I think. Me thinks. There we go. Planter. Cool stuff. Okay, for the harvester, we're going to need some... An invar axe. Uh, some shears we've got. Uh, machine frame we've got. Redstone we've got. Gold we have got. So really, it's just the invar axe, which is just sticks and invar. And I'm pretty sure we've got some invar. We do from last episode. So, let's make one of these real quick. Like that. And we should be good to go. Now, I think this is one of those recipes that doesn't like... Um, like to be clicked in. I think it's the uh, Invar Axe. It doesn't like to be like shifted in with uh, the not enough items thing. Or maybe the shears even because they don't stack. But uh, there we go. Harvester. So now we've got ourselves a nice planter and a harvester. But I'm also going to get some uh, upgrades. So if I type in upgrade, it should come up with the Mine Factory Reloaded ones. Yeah. Because by default, the, the planter with the harvester will plant and harvest in a 3x3 three three block radius, which is only 9 blocks, which isn't actually that many. So I want to get an upgrade. And I think. I might go like all out and get a diamond upgrade. Never actually done a diamond upgrade. I've done a gold one before, but a diamond upgrade is a little bit bigger. Um, but this thing, I've, I've never had this many diamonds like spare. So I think what we should do is get a diamond upgrade. Now, I think we have exactly three raw plastic left. We do. But the downside is we are going to need more than three raw plastic because we need two of these. So, uh, But they all cost three raw plastic. So, so let's actually, before we do this, let's go... And grab some bone meal, because I think we've got some bone meal somewhere. And just try and grow another mine factory loaded rubber tree real quick. Grab some more rubber from that. Uh, do you have any bone meal? We should. Do, 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 do. Uh, was it in there? Yeah, okay. Bone meal. Cool stuff. Alright, let's put this guy down over here. I think we might need a bigger area, actually, if we're going to use the uh, the diamond upgrade. You know, it's pretty big. Uh, we don't want that there. Can we shift click that up? Yeah, cool stuff. Let's see. Is this going to work? Cool stuff. Usually it don't work for me. It just sort of like it takes like five bone meal just to get this thing to grow. But uh, there we go. Something I like about these trees, they disappear really quick. Like the leaves of these trees go away really quick compared to like oak saplings, which just take forever to disappear, which is like a real pain. So now we've got that. Let's close our dogs. I can hear spiders. And we've got enough. We should have enough rubber now to uh, finish this off. So let's just cook that up into normal rubber and then into other rubber. Uh, was there anything else we needed from this thing? Uh, redstone golden nuggets. Let's make some golden nuggets real quick. There we go. Golden Nuggets, are they a cereal? I'm pretty sure Golden Nuggets are a cereal. Tell me in the comment section if you like Golden Nuggets. <laughs> let's make three more of those, because we only need three for now. So, we should, let's go grab six diamonds. There we go. And something like this, that's one. And let's grab another one. I can hear that spider, can anyone else hear that spider? I can hear it, but I've no idea where it is. It's not in my house, is it? Is it on top of my house? It might be, actually, you know. It's not. Where's the spider at? Hello? Spider? Okay, I have no idea. Alright, so the diamond upgrade increases it by 9. So instead of doing... Okay, I've got to figure this out now because um, I always get this wrong. Now, say we put the planter, uh, I don't know, here. Now, it normally does a 3x3, three three, so it normally just does this. You put the planter below it, by the way, so I'll just demonstrate that real quick. The planter doesn't go there. The planter goes... Um, just underneath, like, not even there, it goes there. That's where the planet would go. Um, so normally it does this area here that I'm like, sort of like drawing out at the minute. And it's going to increase it by nine. So I think it's going to do, instead of just doing one there, it's going to go one, two, it's going to go ten. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and then two more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So... 10 by 10, I think, is the area it's going to cover. So I'm going to go grab some more dirt, and then I'm going to start clearing out that area as well. And then all we've got to do is put the harvester on the edge of that area somewhere. Now all my dirt's probably downstairs. Yes, it's in here, like that. There we go. I'll grab all this as well, because we're probably going to need it. So let's see. How are we going to set this up? This is going to be a rather big area, and I don't intend... I tend to this to be like a multi-farm. I'm not going to use it all for one thing. I think I'm going to separate off some... Um, corners of it for like I'll have a section dedicated to wheat I'll have some dedicated to um, 
the mine factory fire um mine factory rubber trees i think i might go try and find some um apple saplings or apple oak saplings from uh, biomes of plenty so that we can get some apples going possibly maybe i might try that right how far out was this thing so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so just to there okay so that should be fine are we going ten out this way one two three four five six seven eight gosh this is gonna be a big flipping farm I think I'll sort out the fact that it doesn't look great in a minute because like we're, at the minute we're just sort of like hanging over like this. Which I'm not a massive fan of. I might fill that in with dirt or something at some point or just like do something else with it. But for now it's fine. And are we out of dirt? Nope, it's just not moving it into my inventory. There we go. So that's 10 by 10 this way. Gosh, you know. Um, gosh, that way we're not even close to 10. This way I think we're like two out. So I'm going to quickly just clear out this area, guys. Back in a second. Okay, so that's something like the area we're going to need. I think that's right, that 10 by 10 by, that, that 10 by 10 square we've got there. So we should, like, theoretically, if we want to be able to plant, like, 100 trees using this diamond upgrade. So if I just, real quick, um, I can throw the diamond upgrade in there now. And then, what was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we'd need the harvester to go right here. And now that should, that harvester, if we throw the harvester upgrade in there as well, be able to harvest everything in this 10 by 10 area. Now I'm going to go to sleep real quick because it's dark. And then we need to start doing some other cool stuff because we need to power this thing. Um, we need to use our steam dynamo we've got downstairs to power this thing. Now I don't know if we're going to have enough power with one steam dynamo to actually power this. Where's this spider? I can hear this thing. Is it in? It might be. Um, oh, that's the thing actually. It might just be sat inside the walls. If I like break this open, is it? Ah. Uh, Ah. Right, so this has become a mob spawner, okay. <laughs> oh my god, look how many creepers. How many creepers? Oh my god. Wow, okay, well... <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to torch this place up, because I don't want mobs spawning in here all the time, because then we're never going to be able to sleep, and we're never going to be able to do anything without hearing mobs all the time. Okay. Um, do we have any coal on us? We don't. Let's go grab some real quick. Hopefully we don't die. Alright, uh, cool. We need to get rid of some of this stuff. This is not where they go, but I'll sort it out in a second. There we go. We'll use these guys. Put this back. Put these back in this chest. Okay, let's go sort this out, because I don't want this happening all the time. We do need some food, though. Gosh, we're going to die of hunger pretty soon. Um, although, I don't well, we're not going to die of hunger, but we're going to get really hungry really soon. Let's just light this place. So if we press F7, my FPS is probably going to drop to, like, a snail's pace, but, I oh, no, it's fine. But then we can see where mobs going to spawn, so we can put this thing down. Um, oh, don't need two there. Yeah, just be aware when you press F7, it will drop your FPS, and then we'll press it again, because now we can see mobs shouldn't spawn in here, but... Oh, God. Look at this. We're going to die. We're going to die. That's fine. <laughs> oh, look at, this, look at this. At least it didn't break any of our chests. That's a, At least that's a plus, I guess. Uh, let's replace some of these like this. Okay, look how hungry we are. Um, let's sleep. Let's just sleep. Forget it. We'll put it off till tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> we'll sleep. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make some hardened energy conduits because I'm pretty sure that... I don't know if this... No, you don't take damage. Okay. I'm going to make some hardened energy conduits because at the minute... Oh, well... Mm. We are only producing 80 redstone flux per tick at the minute, but I think we're going to add to this steam dynamo pretty soon. So I'm going to make some hardened... I'm going to make a bunch of hardened uh, energy conduits, which can carry more energy than the leadstone ones because I think this tree farm or this just, just this farm in general is going to be pretty uh, pretty um, like uh, energy intensive so conduits I'm not really bad at typing I just can't see my keyboard because of my microphone so I'm just sort of like half, half guessing where the keys are um, so hand energy cells uh, conduits even we're going to need uh, a lot of redstone a lot of invert and a lot of leadstone energy cells which are just lead redstone and glass which is why really I've been making a ton of glass because I knew we'd need it for all the lead stone energy cells. So let's grab a bunch of these. Let's grab a bunch of lead and a bunch of invar. We can get rid of copper. So now we should be able to make a bunch of these. Because it is a little bit of a distance from um, where that thing is over there. All the way to the uh, mine factory loaded stuff. So 54 should be more than enough um, <laughs> lead stone energy cells. Let's turn all of those, if we can, into hardened ones. We can. Cool stuff. Uh, let's put these ingots back so we don't clog up our inventory too much. Let's go put this copper in this chest. We really need something to eat. I think I might go and um, raid the village and try and get some of that uh, the wheat they've got so I can make some bread or something. Because I can't do with this. Just being like, not being able to run, being 
hungry and starving. Uh, we have got some berries, actually, haven't we, just behind our house? We probably should start, like, um, trying to expand those as well, possibly. Um, oh, gosh, there's any villagers. Yeah, I might as well get these guys, because we're going to be wanting wheat in a minute. I'm going to come over here in a second, anyway, to get all these seeds so that we can start our own wheat farm. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm taking your stuff. It's mine. Don't care what you say. Try to stop me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good stuff. Now, I have already dug out a little tunnel where I want these hand energy uh, conduits to go, so we should, we'd have to do that, which is pretty nice. And because we've got Batmorph, we can fit into nice one-by-one -one spaces, which is pretty cool. So, oh, we've got a nice, almost a stack of wheat there. So we should, and you can probably see the hole in the side of the hill there. It's one of these two holes over here is um, the hole we're after. Now, the fact that we've built this over a thing here might be to our advantage, actually. I don't want to get that anywhere close to that guy. Um, because we need to do a little bit of piping underneath the um, the machines, and you'll see why in a minute. But for now, let's just uh, make a bunch of bread and eat some of that so we don't die. And we'll walk and talk at the same time. I'll walk and eat bread even. Like this. Okay, good stuff. Right, so we're going to have to get rid of this one because I don't think I don't think leadstone ones connect to hardened ones. So we'll just drag these along like this. And like I said, we've got this. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Can't have it in front of our door. Um, let's go... For now, let's just go up and around the door. <laughs> I think I'll have to change this pretty soon, but it's fine for now. So I'll drag this over here, up here, and along here, and round it out to the farm. Here we go. Oh gosh, we used quite a lot of conduits there, but now we should... Now we've got a nice amount of space under here. Do we have our diamond sword? We do. Okay, let's kill this guy. Right, so I'm going to dig down around this thing just so I can see where it is. Where's this guy come out at? It comes out at this here, okay. And then let's dig down here as well so we can connect up to that. Like this. Because I want to use as few conduits as possible, preferably. And um, But I want to actually get here. Now I can picture this going all the way to bedrock actually because... Um, I think we're in a wall, so let's just pull this out along here, maybe. We should, at some point. Here we go. Okay, so where is... Alright, so that's there. Let's just drag this along a bit more. Actually, let's pull this guy... Let's do this. I think it's this way, isn't it? If we pull that in and then go this way, we should connect up to that thing. Okay, there we go. So let's see if we can actually wire this thing up. I don't think we have enough conduits to do so, but we can always make more. We've got loads of stuff. Um, if anything, we just have to make more in there. So let's pull this down, down one more, and then along. I think we might have enough, possibly, to connect this guy up. Uh, like this, out, cross. Is it down and around here? I think it is. Is it up? No, it's not up there. It's up here. Okay, yeah, it looks like we might just have enough if we do that, oh look at that, one left and then we're going to have to have one, oh gosh, sorry if you can hear the car in the background there, someone just drove down my road like really loud um, and then we need to, uh, so we need to bring that over there, but that's fine for now uh, let's see, so this thing should have a bunch of power in it, it does, cool stuff and what I'm going to do is, uh, using this filter over on the left side I'm going to designate, say, this left hand side here to wheat seeds so I put that in, it should start doing wheat seeds over, oh okay, apparently we're doing it this way uh, um, that's fine, that's fine. So it should fill up all this, like, um, it's going to divide the, uh, we've got like a, what is it, 11 by 11 grid, I think. Yeah, because I didn't include this thing, did I? So I think we might have 11, oh no we don't, we have 12 by 12, don't we? So these four here, or five, I'm not sure, I'm just going to do what it does best. Uh, and then let's designate the middle three, let's say, to these saplings. And then the other three to normal saplings. I can see a creeper out there and he's looking to... How did you get in here? Let's press F7. Do we have... Oh, we've got a bunch of, like, red spots in our house. That's not good. Uh, do we have... We've got six and then nine more of these. Eh, yeah, that should be fine. For now, I think I might go in between episodes and try and get a bunch more saplings. But for now, let's just put these guys in here. We'll say oak saplings go along here. And they've put the thing, I'll start doing them. Cool stuff. And now, one last thing we need to do is we do need to get the harvest set up, but I'm going to do that, I think, maybe between ep uh, between episodes. I'll make some more conduits or something. But uh, what we are going to have to do is, uh, let's just pick this up real quick, is this. We're going to have to pull out of the, um, 
Well, no, the, the planter's going to plant stuff, and then what we need to do is we need to be able to get stuff back to the planter after it's finished. Now, is this... Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to connect these up using our item ducks we had before to the harvester, because stuff's going to come out of the harvester, and then we'll make a chest, and we'll put the chest here right behind the harvester, and then we'll have it so that the item duct here pulls out um, seeds, saplings, and... Uh, just seeds and saplings, that's it, isn't it? So, what will happen is... The, um, the planter will plant all the stuff, and then as you see at the minute, it's empty. And then the harvester will harvest all this stuff, all the trees, all the wheat, all the um, vine factory load saplings. And what it does is it harvests all the stuff, and all the saplings, and all the seeds and everything, and then just sort of like spits it out the back here. So what we're going to have is we're going to have um, a chest here, and the chest is going to keep all the wood, apples, um, wheat, and rubber. But then all the saplings, Minecraft, my factory loaded saplings, and all the seeds are going to be pulled out of the chest and sent back around to the planter to be replanted. And it's just going to continue like that. I think I might actually put maybe, hmm, I might put an ender chest here and then have another ender chest inside so that all the other stuff can sort of be sent straight into a sorting system inside and put to good use instead of just sort of sitting there in a big chest. It's going to get really full really fast. So I think I might do that, but uh, I'm going to call it there for this episode, guys. I'll wire this stuff up um, out of episode, and I'll make some more conduits and do that as well. Um, next episode, uh, we could get on to, I think we might start some animal farming, maybe. And uh, there's also a bunch of other stuff as well. We're starting to uh, tame these dragons, who I think are still over here. We've got our... Oh, yeah, there they are. I can see them both now, the white one and the black one. We still need to tame those dragons. We do need to set the uh, mob spawn up, which I'm planning to do at some point soon. And there's also a bunch of other stuff in this mod pack that I want to get into. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!